Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is a glorious uh, Wednesday morning. Eh. And I have come out to my Forerunner, which is hot as balls. He's just been sitting in the morning sun, and there's just no getting away from it. It's going to be almost 90 again today. Sorry, there's jets flying in force today. So, anywho, I have this set up now. The A7 IV with the 14mm G Master, like I said yesterday, I was going to shoot with this all day long. I have put this on that little contraption that I, that I put together again, sitting on the dash. I'm hoping that the, that the heat of that cooking in the sun all morning isn't going to loosen the Velcro, because it's just on there with a sticker. Let, let's just get right to it. It's not the sturdiest, safest thing. I guess. The only good thing about it is that I have it on one of those Manfrotto mounts and it just, it, it's bigger. It's not like it's sitting on a little uh, peak design plate. So let me show you because I know that it was a little bit hard to see yesterday with, it's all Velcro down here. I have this Manfrotto plate uh, mounted to a plexiglass plasticky piece that's cut out to the shape of the bottom. That's Gorilla taped to the bottom of this. And then I have the normal plate in there, and the plate is what I have the Arca mount on. And unfortunately, I didn't talk fast enough, so now I'm moving. Now I gotta hold the camera until I get to a light. So anyways, so that's the setup. And you can see how I have it sort of sitting off to the side. Kind of doesn't matter because this 14 millimeter is so wide that, that it almost looks like it's in the center of the, of the dashboard anyways. It's only off by a couple of inches, so that's no big deal. I gotta remove that. That doesn't need to be there anymore. And again, I can plug in, you can see the cable hanging, I can plug USB-C into this and power it if I need to, which if I were gonna do this for any length of time, I would. Heh, I accidentally hit the record button, so I shut off the recording. But yeah, so this isn't the straightest thing because it's it's just, it's not. But you know, I'm not gonna do this all the time. I just missed shooting with my A7 IV. So it is 83 degrees already, it's 945. I have been like doing day job shit for the past hour and a half. And that's just like answering emails, going back and forth with people, trying to get some shit cleared up so that I can actually get into the day then. And I am so freaking hungry. And I did, you know, I was like, all right, I'm not gonna eat anything right now. Let me just answer these emails. And that goes into another thing, which goes into another thing. And now here I am, I've been up for almost two hours and I haven't eaten anything. So I am on my way to go get breakfast somewhere. I'm screw it. I mean, I'm just gonna go get breakfast. And, and be done with it. And it gives me a chance to play around with this thing and to drive a little bit more so that I can listen to the fact that there's no road noise, which is awesome. So that should make any of the recordings that I do in the Forerunner a, a lot more pleasant or at least a little less annoying because there won't be so much road noise. And I know when I look at the, at the audio signal, how loud that is. But since today is the last day, it's gonna be that hot for a while, I might just not go out to Pleasure House Point today and I might save that for Thursday or Friday and see how we do then because it'll be it'll be only in the 80s and even the 70s that's plenty warm for me all right it's time to go challenge some breakfast and then we'll see what the day brings us but I'll try to do something other than just sit inside here but I need to pay attention at this intersection because there's always accidents so let's go eat I have to say that this 14 millimeter lens is just crazy because like I have showed you before when I showed you the difference between all the lenses in my studio. My thumb is touching my chin, my middle finger is touching the lens hood, and look at how much is still in frame. And you know, and just holding it away where it's comfortable for me, look at all this. It's nuts. Okay, so I'm actually right by the pier. Didn't even have to walk to get to it. My hair is at the next stage of shit where it's too long but not long enough. Unfortunately, it needs to be a year later in hair growth time for my hair to be where it needs to be. Okay, they're doing construction-y shit if you can't hear it, so there's no point in walking down there. It smells more like sewage down here than it does the beach. So, how you doing? There just aren't enough people down here to get that smell of summer where you're smelling all the suntan lotion and the food things like that. So it doesn't quite smell like summer, even though it is. I may or may not have mentioned, which means I know I mentioned it, but that means I may or may have cut that footage out. But I did speak to a person about doing some modeling and she sounded totally excited about it. 
I was supposed to send her some picture ideas of what I was talking about, and I just not, have not had the time because of all the shit that's been happening with my house and with the work project and everything. So I need to do that today, which I should have no problem doing because you know me, like yesterday I was like, ooh, you know, 50 different directions. So whilst I'm sitting there doing, you know, the day job stuff, in between I need to go and find all these pictures of all this stuff so that I can uh, send her all that information. And then she knows that I'm serious because I haven't contacted her in several days. Granted, I was gone, but you get the idea. I need, to, I need to get my shit on the stick. Since I'm always bitching about models being flaky, I need to not be flaky myself. So I'm gonna do that today as well. I just wanted to go for a quick little walk though and just give you some footage other than me and the Forerunner. Perhaps maybe I should, since I'm going to be near there, I just need to suck it up and go to Target. Oh, and I just remember what else I needed. I'm almost out of Keurig pods. I think I only have two left and that's not nearly enough. So I'm gonna go do that too. I try not to get hit. I could have done a camera conspiracies like, <sighs> but that's his shtick. And this is too heavy to do that. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off and we'll get back on the Forerunner and go to Target again. Whew, okay kids, here's the deal. It was 90 something degrees out again today. It is hot as balls in this freaking office. It's like excruciating. Again, I've done everything that I possibly can do within my limited means to make this not be so awful. The only thing, the only thing that has ever worked was when I bought a small air conditioner and put it in the window. But because I live two doors down from the freaking idiot HOA president, you're not allowed to have individual AC units. Even though we were going through a heat wave at the time, he bitched and moaned that I had to take it down. So I had to take it down and I've been miserable ever since. So I, again, I've had, I had one vent over here by the window, which sucked. I had a second one cut in and put over above the closet doors. And then I had them put in this intake up there, thinking that if I had that going, it would suck up all the heat from all this equipment on this side of the room and put it through the system and, and make it cool instead of warm. That didn't do shit. I put a fan over on that side of the room to try to blow the hot air out the door. That didn't do shit. So I took it and I put it on the floor out there to try to blow cold air in. That didn't do shit. So now I have that small fan on the floor and a big standing fan above it trying to blow cold air in here. No matter what, it is hot as balls in this room. If I walk out as soon as I cross the threshold of the doorway, it is at least 10 degrees colder when I get out into the hallway and the rest of the upstairs, and then it's even cooler downstairs. That's just physics. <sighs> Science. And so it kind of sucks because my wife's always cold downstairs. Meanwhile, I'm up here sweating my balls off. I guess that's really all I can say about it. And I'm going to not bitch about it for the rest of the summer. The only thing that could happen is if I like won a lottery or something, and I could have the entire HVAC system redone with a much bigger, more efficient unit and get a brand new, much bigger, more efficient hot water heater, <laughs> replace all the faucets on the sinks, get the carpeting ripped out in every freaking room and replaced in the ones where we wanna have carpet and have hardwood flooring put down on the rooms that we don't want any carpeting. And let's see, what else? Oh, I need a new microwave. Probably need a new refrigerator because that's been screwed up since we first started renting this place. And oh, and I need a new washing machine and dryer because those things are like really on the outs too. And that's all. Okay, so enough whining. I'm hot as balls. I'm gonna get the hell out of this room for the rest of the night because I'm not doing any more day job work and I'm gonna edit downstairs where it's, it's nice and cool. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's almost six o'clock. I'm gonna eat dinner. I was gonna go for a walk, but it's still like 92 degrees out. So I'm not gonna do that. Tomorrow should only be like 82-ish. So 10 degrees cooler than it is today. And every one of those degrees makes a difference. So I do plan on getting up in the morning early and going straight to Pleasure House Point because I haven't gone out all week and I wanna. So yes, gorgeous day out. 
I'm gonna go try to find something to eat that I haven't eaten 10,000 times before. I had to throw a lot of food away because you know we lost three days of eating. So I'll probably have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. All right, other than that, that's it. That's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, I'll leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.